What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So yesterday we talked a little bit about memory copy. It's an extension that allows you to create copies and uh, not only duplicate movement, but also to duplicate um, rotation and scale as well. So this week, or in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use that to model a bridge that's in Iowa. It's kind of a, it's got kind of a spiraling shape. It's called the High Trestle Trail Bridge, but it's got a whole bunch of like spinning steel pieces in it. And I'll throw an image of that up on the screen. But let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing we're going to do on this is we're going to come in here and we're going to draw our kind of square steel pieces. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to use the rectangle tool. And um, I'm going to make this 30 feet by 30 feet. Whoops. Not 30 feet by 30 inches. So to do that, just come in here, tap the R key to turn on the rectangle tool, then type in 30 feet, comma, 30 feet. And you can tap the arrow keys on your keyboard to lock it to that green axis. And so what we're doing here is we're just creating a, a square piece that we can use the offset tool on. So then we're going to come in here and we're going to offset that, let's call it 12 inches for right now. That looks about right. And then you can delete this middle face out and you can just use the push pull tool to come in here and push pull that by 12 inches as well and then you're gonna drag a box around it and you're gonna make it a component and you can call it steel piece or whatever you want to call it but now that we've got a component what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create our copies of this and this may be a little too big I'm not hundred percent sure but we may use the scale tool to kind of adjust that scale later so I'm going to use an extension that I downloaded from uh, TomTom. Um, he's got a lot of different extensions like SubD and Vertex tools and a lot of useful tools. Uh, this is an extension called Guide Tools that you can download from the Sketchication Warehouse. And all this allows you to do is it allows you to put a point at the center of a selection. So in this case, you can see if I select Whoops, there we go. You can see if I select control point at bound center, what that's gonna do is that's gonna put a point right in the center of my object right here. So, and you could also do that by drawing some guidelines or something like that to the center, but this is just a little bit easier for me. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a copy of this object. And we're gonna say that we've got 20 feet between each one for right now. And again, we may adjust this with the scale tool a little bit later. But so you're going to use the move tool to create a copy, and then you're going to use the rotate tool to rotate this object around the center. And we're going to do that by 10 degrees. So what we've got is we've got one box right here that we've started rotating, that we've moved and we've rotated. and the center points are in a straight line right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use memory copy to repeat this movement. And remember, this only works on components. So what you do is you right click on your original object and you're gonna go down with memory copy installed and you're gonna click on this, this box that set, or this option that says play it again. So you're gonna click on play it again and then you're gonna click on the object that you moved. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna recreate whatever movement or rotation or scale happen between these two objects. You can see how when I put my mouse over it, it turns blue, but you're just gonna click on that and you're gonna click on that multiple times until what you've done is you've created an object that turned all the way around just like this. So you can see now if I sit in here and it's really kind of best to turn perspective off to really see how this works, but if I sit in here right in the middle, you can tell that you've got all of these boxes and they've been turned around this center point just like this. So what we've done there is we've created our repeating square shape right here. So the next thing we're gonna do, and I'm gonna turn perspective back on up in camera. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a line between the midpoint and the last piece right along our green axis. There we go. To the front of our first piece just like this and you can see how that's straight along the green axis which means these are definitely in a straight line which is what we want 
and then we're going to come across we're going to draw another line here and then we're going to draw a line along the green axis all the way to the back side over here and then we're going to kind of close it off so you can see how when we close that off what that gives us is that gives us our path right so you can sit in here on this path and you can look around and it's basically got us our kind of bridge shape so if you wanted to stop right here you could I mean that's a great use for memory copy I'm gonna go a little further and just kind of work on uh, and just kind of work on making this bridge shape a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scale down the bridge just a little bit so I'm going to use the scale tool to make this box a little bit thinner and I'm holding the control key right now um, in order to do this about center so you can see how it scales on both sides and so I'm gonna scale that to about we'll start off with 0.75 and see how that works I'm not sure how wide that leaves our bridge um, about 21 feet wide so this is a 20 foot bridge section right here so we're gonna start off with this and you can actually you can actually come in here and erase the rest of this for right now because what we're gonna do is we're gonna model this with components and so what you can do is you can offset this um, let's say by we'll say 12 inches and what we're doing basically right now is we're modeling the kind of curb pieces along the side here so you're just gonna close this piece off and then you can erase these pieces right here and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna extrude this up by about 12 inches we'll start with that and see see if we like that you know we may do it another six inches so you're gonna extrude these up and then next thing you can go ahead and do if you want is you can select this whole object and just say make component and we'll just call it bridge bridge section because what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna repeat this over and over again so all we want to do is we just want this to be a component you're gonna move this along the green axis and then you can type in times 20 so that's gonna give us our kind of repeating bridge section right here and then now every change that I make on one of these remember it's gonna make it in all of them because they're a component so so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna divide this line um, I'm figuring I'm probably gonna want you know what we're gonna come in here and we're gonna divide this line into four segments so just right click on the line click divide and then come in here and just divide it into four segments and the reason we're gonna divide it into four segments is we're gonna create one bridge picket and then we're gonna repeat that down going this way so I'm gonna go ahead and figure these are four inch by four inch pick pickets so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna model these that way and we can come back in and change these later if we don't like the size of them but you know what I'm gonna scale that up just a little bit there we go so then I'm gonna extrude that up about let's say another four feet and then if you look at the image the thing with these is they kind of slope inwards so we're gonna select the top of this and we're gonna use the move tool to move it over probably about six inches and so you can see what that did is that created kind of this diagonal piece well then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna make this a component so we'll just call it picket and then all you need to do is you can just use the move tool just like this and you can repeat that so that it repeats on this other side just like this so now we've got kind of our bridge pickets in here so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our actual rail piece and so it looks like based on an image that I'm seeing of this that the rail piece is just a uh, is just a tube steel piece and it looks like there's four of them what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll just model a tube steel piece that's four inches by four inches and see how that looks so maybe a little bit big but we'll give it a try so two inches
Oh, and you know what? It's going to be really important that you model this inside your component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that. I'm going to go inside my component and then I'm going to click edit paste in place. So that put this inside my component so that it's on every one of these. All right. So once you get to this point in your group, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on this piece, right click on it and click make component. And the reason you're going to want to make it a component is because you're going to need to move some stuff around later and it gets really tricky if you don't. So just call this, uh, call this rail. And then you can go ahead and you can go ahead and copy this now. So make three copies of it just like this. And you can see how that's going to extend a little higher along this piece. So all you want to do is you just want to come in here and you just want to move this down a little bit along this line. So go ahead and move it down now while you're working on this. And then, then you're going to come in here and you can erase your kind of guide. Whoops. You can come in here and you can erase all your guidelines and stuff like that. And then you can just push pull these rail pieces along this face right here so that this is complete. So you can just come in here, do that. And then remember, since we're inside a component, like a bridge component, we're just going to create a copy of these using the move tool. You're going to scale them so that they face the other way. And you're just going to move that. so that it's centered along this piece right here. Just like that. Make sure there's no gap. And there you go. All right, so last thing we're gonna do in here, cause now we've got our rail created and everything else, is we're actually gonna come in here and we're going to, I created too many copies of this before, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase this piece right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this whole thing and we're just gonna use the move tool in copy mode to create a couple more copies of this. So just uh, select everything, use the move tool and then just move a copy of it down here and then you can type in times two or times three. I'm gonna type in times three. So now you've got this whole bridge length in here. And then you can come in here and you can erase these little guide points. They don't look very good, so you can go ahead and get rid of those. So anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Did you like this video? You like this strategy? Do you like these plug-in tutorial videos? I'd love to hear what you guys think. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. Just help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. In any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.